the release of some of the merch that he's put together for vultures and just in general the relaunch of yeezy and what he basically has been angling for and i think and again i don't i, I take a pinch of salt this whole diatribe Ye says that part of the reason why the gap deal fell through is because he always wanted to be able to present these high level ideas or take what them that was doing at balenciaga which he thinks is the pinnacle or fashion design right which obviously i love as well because i'm a big demna fanboy from the times of him being at vetima and obviously the stuff he's done at, at balenciaga and he wanted to be able to take that and distill it into gap and obviously present it to the masses but his number one main aim at the end of it was to have the yeezy gap stuff be sold for 20 dollars. but obviously gap were like nah i mean we're gonna price it we're gonna price it fuck you and he said that was one of the reasons why the, the deal fell through. I don't really believe that. I feel like, you know, Ye basically is impossible to work with, especially as a corporation. Um, he's always going to annoy you and get under your skin. So it was always going to end in, you know, in tears anyway, and as it did. But still, he followed through with that promise by doing it himself and selling it at $20. And most likely, the stuff that he's selling now at $20, I wouldn't be surprised if he's making a loss on this definitely making a loss because if i'm not mistaken um this stuff is being made in collaboration with dov dov Cherney, the guy that used to run american apparel he's now got another company i think called this los angeles apparel right that basically man manufactures and produces you know whatever clothing right sweatshirts and t-shirts and shit and i think he's doing it in collaboration with him so he's obviously producing the stuff in a back end which is obviously not a partner whatever it may be but it's not that's kind of high scale of gap but regardless i'd imagine he's probably not making much on these things anyway so he's probably doing it at a loss but i feel like this is a great way to do stuff like this when you're especially when you're someone like yay and you have fuck you money you should be able to you should do stuff like this to kind of also give back, but just for the fun of it, similar to what Rogan is doing with his comedy club, um, the comedy mothership. Most likely he's probably not making that much money from it, especially when you hear all the rumors from other comedians that say that he pays really well. He's just doing it for the love because he's fucking love stand up and obviously selfishly because it gives him a chance it gives him a place to go and perform every fucking weekend right or every night he wants to there's a club right around the corner from where he lives they can go and perform at bloody blah, blah 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 and i feel like the same thing goes for yay um if you've got the money that he has you can take the chances why not try this model where you sell all your clothing for 20 dollars or 17 pounds as you can see here and you're able to put all these amazing products into the hands of people right and you're able to sell all this your idea of what fashion should be um at this kind of high level and have it at this sort of low prices and it's available for everybody and even got the yeezy pods even the yeezy pods right the shoes that everybody's been um you know fighting over these are also sold for flipping 20 dollars. that's absolutely sick isn't it i think that's absolutely cool i really do think it's really cool um and i think it does go to show that his heart is always in the right place when it comes to these sort of things his approach maybe isn't the greatest um obviously and i think as a corporation you're probably you're probably you need to look you probably need to think very hard about working with yay because obviously it's going to help you with your bottom line but when it comes to you know public perception and you know the risk of just flying off the handle the things he will say and do might just be way too much for most corporations to deal with even though i feel like a lot of them when they do get in business with him they should know that's part of the deal when it comes to working with yay he's always going to be a bit unhinged he's never going to be um you know virgil abloh in that respect who was able to kind of balance the working with the underground and the quote-unquote the overground as he was always to say that was kind of what he was genius at so r.i.p to him but yay is just too much of a quote-unquote psycho so you just have to kind of learn to kind of you know live with that sort of thing and just be okay with him saying what the fuck he's saying because at the end of the day the products kind of speak for themselves so most likely we're gonna i think most likely we're probably gonna get another iteration of these easy pods anyway because from what i've seen online a few people have got them and the quality doesn't look the greatest now because you know most likely he's doing independent having to source the manufacturers to produce himself i'm sure he's come he's come across a lot of roadblocks and shit but i feel like we're probably gonna get other iterations of the shoe um going forward as we continue but regardless i feel like the proposition you put together of of taking high level design quote unquote and selling it um for twenty dollars to the people it's absolutely amazing and i wish more people would do this um unfortunately you have people like jerry lorenzo out here who thinks god has ordained him to sell one thousand dollar fucking jeans and shit but the pricing of fashion in general has always you know bewildered me especially balenciaga is a good example of it you go on balenciaga and they'll have a t-shirt and a pair of shoes that are basically the same price 
like a t-shirt is like 400 pounds you can find a pair of shoes on Balenciaga's website that are like 500 or 600 so it's like how does that make any sense why is a t-shirt 400 and the sh- shoes are for 700 like like it just doesn't make any sense nowadays like the pricing is just fucking all over the place even though i know it costs a lot it costs a lot to make it i understand but pricing of fashion has always been something that's kind of got under my skin anyway but big up yay for doing the complete opposite and giving it to the people the way he's done it most likely this obviously won't be to most people's taste it's just basic box box um boxy baggy tees in black with the number one at the back and you got the wet um you know top that you've seen um with the yeezy mawa lola sorry wet tank top that we've seen obviously bianca sensori wear you've also got um the vultures logo with the with, with the germany um emblem kind of flip going on there as well and you've got some other vultures mask as well they're taking as well um inspiration i think for that metal band i forgot the fucking name of it and um, i think it's bazooka or something i forgot the name i forgot the name of it but regardless and you also got the vinyl um of vultures there at the end as well so big up yeah regardless you can check out yourself at yeezy.com get yourself some yeezy merch get yourself some yeezy merch at yeezybloodclot.com